Hello everyone, I'm Janie Shifflin. I'm one of your instructional technologists for Floyd County Schools. And for our tech tip for this week, we wanted to remind and update you on some changes that have been made to the Floyd County Teacher Curriculum Hub. So to begin with, we're going to navigate here to the Floyd County Schools employee homepage. You can do that by clicking on this house, or if you go to staff from the Floyd County website, that will get you here also. From here, we're gonna to go to Teacher Curriculum Hub, and then to Teacher Resource Hub. For today's tip, we're going to be looking specifically at the approved digital resources. However, you'll notice there are tabs across the top here for all of the different things that you may need um, for, your, for the different subjects or needs that you have for your students. So we're going to start here at approved digital resources. And the first thing that you're going to notice is the new approval process for web-based technology resources. These procedures are very important to us as a system to follow to ensure that we are being good stewards of our students' data and privacy as well as um, funding. Notice that anyone can request a digital resource. You're just going to need to follow these procedures. While we know also you may be willing to pay for a subscription, in order to do so, you are signing a terms of service agreement with that company, making you liable for any student data that is shared. Therefore, it is very important that you follow the procedures that have been put in place. If you have a digital resource that you would like to have vetted for approval, just follow the following steps. The first step would be to look at a list of resources already available to you. You may find that there is an alternative vetted resource that will meet your instructional needs. So if you'll scroll down, there is um, the list of these resources. They're still housed right below this document. I'm going to open this up in a new tab so that we can take a closer look at this particular sheet. To begin with, you're going to notice that there are tabs across the bottom. This will help you to narrow down the sub subject that you might be looking for. As you scroll through, you'll notice that these first resources, these are all things that have a district license for. In blue, we have recommended resources that may be free or funded by your building level. While there are many resources here that have been vetted and approved, if you find a new subscription program that you are interested in, you still must follow the procedures outlined above for all free subscription-based and pilot programs. Student data, privacy, and meeting all areas of compliance are a non-negotiable. All programs must go through this vetting process. In gray, you're going to see additional resources that are used for occasional use that might also fit your needs. And at the bottom are the resources you'll see in red. Um, these are for teacher use only. When going through the vetting process, notice that many of these, um, there is no data privacy agreement, or they may have a terms of service, um, such as this one, where it's not compatible with a certain age group. So if you don't find what you're looking for, then you can always go back up to this um, approval process guide and um, you would move to step two where you would then fill out the digital resource request form. You are going to need to provide the URL for the resource um, in order for the vetting, vetting committee to be able to review it. From here, the committee will then evaluate the resource and they will get back with you when a decision is made. So I want to encourage you to always reach out to one of your school's instructional technology specialists. We are happy to brainstorm other alternatives um, with you and make other suggestions that we're aware of. Um, in the end, it's our goal to be responsible with our resources and to protect the student data and privacy of our students and our employees. We also want to streamline our digital resources to ensure that we are using the best tools to meet the needs of our learners. Thank you.